Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sinta Don Bosco for Society for Health Research and Innovation and I'm currently working at Sri Jawad Nuru General Hospital. My journey began with Society for Health Research and Innovation when I went to register myself for the Good Intern program in 2015. The volunteers with leadership quality were invited and I took that opportunity to provide my service to this dedicated organization. And there I started my journey with Society for Health Research and Innovation. My pioneer activity was comparing for the Good Intern program in 2015. Following that, I have compared to the modified Good Intern program in 2018. Also, I have participated in many workshops organized by the GMOA and Society for Health Research and Innovation. I have also compared for the inaugural ceremonies of Native Language program and later I got actively involved with the CPD webinars. Continuous medical education is one of the compulsory academic activity in medical profession to enhance the knowledge and skills of the medical officers. During the pandemic, the Society for Health Research and Innovation with GMOA took the initiative to conduct the CPD webinars every weekend in each discipline of medicine. And so far we have successfully organized more than 41 CPD webinars. CPD points are strictly adhered to the guidelines set by the National Center for CPD in Medicine. It's a teamwork. We have the organizing committee where many doctors are involved and the CPD lectures are scheduled for the entire year. For each webinar, the consultant speaker is informed in advance and pre- and post-assessment questionnaires are prepared and the registration link and flyers are designed and published in social media and direct SMS are sent to the members of GMOA for the registration. The shortcomings, uh, we are lacking with the resources. First, we need volunteers with good computer literacy and we need moderators with good communication skills. We also need dedicated sponsors to improve the standard of our CPD webinar. Yes, challenges. The biggest challenge was to balance the regular work with the extracurricular activity. Especially with my hospital work, on call, studies, exam, family, leisure, and of course not only me, entire team which involved in this process. Each one of us have contributed our maximum effort to make this program a success. First of all, it's a free webinar. Every medical officer can enjoy joining this from wherever they are and each successful participant is entitled for a CPD certificate and the CPD points. And the recordings of these webinars are uploaded in the YouTube. Yes, I have personally benefited in my leadership skills, communication skills, organizing skills and comparing and moderating skills as well. And of course, this experience paves the way for a better professional portfolio for myself. Achievement. Um, my service has been sincerely appreciated by the GMOA and Society for Health Research and Innovation hierarchy. And I have been awarded with a beautiful plaque in recognition. future plan, uh, we are currently working to improve the standard of the webinar and a studio being set up to conduct the future webinars. The Society for Health Research and Innovation is currently working on an international platform to recognize the CPD points. At this moment, I would like to show my sincere gratitude to the GMOA and Society for Health Research and Innovation for all the support and the encouragement given to me and the trust they had on me. I would like to send a message to all the junior doctors with leadership quality to approach the Society for Health Research and Innovation for a wonderful professional future. Thank you.
Now I cordially invite Dr. Anuruddha Padaniya, Dr. Chandika Epitakadua, and Dr. Senal Fernando to the stage to present the token of appreciation to Dr. Sinta Don Bosco. I'm glad that I got this opportunity to work with such a dedicated organizations, GMO and Society for Health Research and Innovation. 